Today we are making parmesan risotto with Jersey sea bass and Jersey asparagus. I'm a Romanian but I live in Jersey and this is my second home. And when it comes to ingredients, this beautiful island has got a lot to offer. So mainly local ingredients today and by using local ingredients, you don't just support the local businesses and local farmers, but you get your ingredients nice, fresh, nutritious and straight to your table. In today's recipe, we are cooking with only two of those ingredients, which are the Jersey sea bass and the Jersey asparagus. But if you don't want to miss any future videos with a lot more ingredients from this beautiful island, subscribe to the channel. We start our recipe by chopping finely one small white onion. This will be needed for our risotto together with two cloves of garlic, which they'll have the same story, just chop them finely and get them ready for frying. Now we move on to our local Jersey asparagus, which is nice, crunchy and fresh the way the asparagus should be. Easy prep, just trim the tough lower part of the spears and set it aside for later when we'll be cooking it. Set the pan on medium heat and add 15 grams of butter or optionally you can go with extra virgin olive oil, it's totally up to you. Add the chopped white onion followed by the garlic and cook them till the onion becomes nice and translucent. And I should have mentioned earlier, but make sure you get the pan big enough right from the beginning because the more liquid you add to the risotto, the bigger it gets. The risotto goes in and from now on, we're gonna have a bit of mixing and stirring to do. Make sure you cook your risotto until it starts becoming translucent at the edges and before you add the white wine. After adding about 100 ml of dry white wine, we are to cook our risotto until all the alcohol evaporates. And at this stage, make sure you keep stirring because it will easily stick to the bottom of the pan. Once the alcohol fully evaporated, add a part of the veg stock and stir until combined. Cook stirring frequently until the stock is fully absorbed. To give a nice flavor to your risotto, just add a few fresh thyme leaves. And continue to add stock, stirring continuously until the broth is fully absorbed. Depending on how fast the rice cooks, there might be some stock left over. I'm gonna keep my risotto recipe fairly simple. So to season it, all I'm using is salt and pepper. Adding cream is optional, and if you don't want to add cream, you can cook it all the way with stock. But I believe for my recipe, it really works well, so I'm gonna be adding a bit of cream. Some grated parmesan, as the risotto, the parmesan and the cream are really good friends, and all these combined will give it a nice creamy texture. With our risotto cooked al dente and almost ready, we can move on to the next steps. To cook the asparagus, it's easy. You need a pot with salty water, bring the water to the boil, the asparagus goes in only for two minutes because the asparagus pears I'm using are quite thin. The less you can cook your asparagus, the better will be and the more nutritious. So once cooked, get it straight into icy water to stop it from cooking. We are now moving on to the Jersey sea bass fillets. Using a sharp knife, start scoring the Jersey fillets of bass. What you're basically doing, you're making small incisions into the flesh but make sure you control your knife so you don't go all the way through. As seasoning for my Jersey fillets of bass, I'm only adding salt and pepper. Just make sure you go on both sides and if you wanna add different flavors or different seasonings, this is the perfect time to do so. Before you start cooking your fillets of bass, tap them on both sides with paper towel. This will ensure that they don't stick to the bottom of the pan when pan frying. When the frying pan reaches medium high heat, you are ready to go. Place the fillets of bass, inside down and press them slightly because they tend to curve from the heat. A good tip on knowing when the fish fillets are ready to be flipped over is to look at the edges. When they start becoming white, you are ready to go and most likely the other side will be nice and golden in color. Once flipped over, the fish is not far from being ready to be served, so keep that in mind so you don't overcook it. Now we can add a bit of butter, thyme and a clove of garlic, all these will give you a really nice flavor. Using a tablespoon, baste those fillets of bass with that beautiful flavored butter. And as last step in this cooking process, squeeze some lemon juice over the fish. Take the fillets off the heat and place them on a paper towel and let's move on with the asparagus. You can use exactly the same pan as it's packed with flavor, just add a bit more butter because the butter will be used as the sauce for our dish. 20 seconds later the asparagus is ready and we cook our butter till it gets nutty and golden in color. Now to bring our risotto back to life, we add a bit of stock, a few chives, a good stir and we are ready for plating. At the bottom of the plate, we're gonna add a good amount of parmesan and chive risotto, followed by as many spears of asparagus as you want. 
and on top of all these we're going with one fillet of Jersey sea bass. Two spoons of that golden butter will make a huge difference. And it's totally optional but I'm adding a salad that contains spring onions and freshly shaved asparagus. Just give it a drizzle of olive oil and lemon juice and we are ready to go. And there you have it, parmesan risotto, jersey asparagus and crispy skin fillet of jersey bath. That was Kitchen Raw for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this recipe and what do you want me to cook in the future. Like it, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because the mission of getting those 1000 subscribers is still ongoing. And I'll see you in the next one. Check out the videos on my channel and see you next Friday. All the best.